and uh, my colleague Akshay Dongre joins us uh, live. Uh, hi, Akshay. Uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi today hailed India's quantum leap in science and technology, you know, saying India is no longer just a consumer of technology, it has become a pioneer of transformation through technology. He also highlighted the successful launch of CMS-03 satellite, India's heaviest satellite. Uh, tell us how significant was this event, Akshay? Well, uh, Siddharth, if you look at uh, this decade or even the, uh, you know, uh, coming 20 dec uh, uh, two decades as far as India's uh, future uh, prospects are concerned when it comes to research, when it comes to innovation, development, all of it required significant support from the government, from the private sector and from the, from the people as well. Uh, as far as the uh, significance of this event is concerned, it's quite vast because, you know, any country, uh, if you look at the world map uh, that has developed, has developed on the basis of the research and development that has been done by the country by the support that they have gotten from the government, by the kind of funding that they have received, the kind of stability in terms of political leadership. And all of this uh, is, is being provided uh, to the India's uh, uh, science and uh, technology sector as well, to the innovation sector, to the emerging technology sector, from semiconductors to quantum computers to artificial intelligence and uh, you know other kind of uh, uh, niche areas that require expertise of scientists. While our, our scientists are working uh, in the country, many of them also choose to move out of the country as far as looking for better prospects are concerned. So this kind of uh, massive uh, funding that the government of India has announced today has been announced only for this sector that will give it a huge impetus that is going to give it huge boost and the Indian scientists can now you know, find, find innovative ways to, uh, to uh, do their research, to do uh, you know, development of technologies and all the other areas by staying in the country itself, for the country, uh, for the development of uh, you know, different spheres of uh, our, our technological sectors and other sectors as well that are involved. Uh, in, the, in the era of uh, artificial intelligence and semiconductors, quantum computers, uh, you know, uh, the country like India, that is in fact the biggest country in terms of population, cannot rely on others and that is why uh, this, this move is quite significant, you know, from launching satellites to, uh, to uh, developing our engines, uh, uh, to uh, going into artificial intelligence sphere and other kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 when it comes to uh, expertise, uh, we have to develop it on our own and that will require right. a significant uh, focus by the government as well mm. as by the scientific community and all of this gets plugged uh, by uh, this kind of funding that has been announced by the government of India and that is going to see a sort of a revolution in the years to come. Definitely, Akshay. And it was a historic moment yesterday Absolutely. as we all know uh, that uh, uh, India's heaviest communication satellite was launched from the Indian soil. And in fact, Prime Minister Narendra Modi also while addressing today in the event congratulated ISRO. Uh, Akshay, I'm sure there must be people from other countries as well in this event. Uh, did you have a word with them? What are they saying about India's quantum leap in science and technology and how happy are they collaborating with India if they have any plans to do so in future, I'm sure. Well, there are there are massive plans, Siddharth, and you have rightly pointed out that, uh, you know, international collaboration is also something that a country like India would be quite keen on getting. Mm -hmm. uh, there are countries that have expertise in some, uh, some particular field. India has uh, expertise of its own in, in different areas. It has its own set of brilliant scientists. But uh, when it comes to science and technology, education and all of these kind of expertise, uh, you have to collaborate with uh, you know uh, foreign entities as well that have their own uh, expertise to share and to collaborate with you. Uh, so uh, the, the kind of uh, support that the government has showed has also uh, uh, you know boosted the confidence of the foreign players uh, that would be more keen on uh, doing uh, collaboration with Indian scientists in different spheres. Uh, so that is one, one part of it. Uh, I, I spoke to a Nobel laureate, uh, uh, Professor Gaim, uh, who was present and shared stage with the Prime Minister. He uh, spoke about the kind of uh, you know leaps and bound India has grown when it comes to science and technology, the kind of stability that has been provided by Narendra Modi government in the last one decade and uh, the kind of, uh, you know, future, uh, a bright future that they are looking at as far as these collaborations are concerned. People are looking at India as, as, a, as a potential country that can provide not only uh, great scientists but also political stability, also bright minds that can do innovation of their own uh, and, and that is uh, sort of a win-win situation for everyone. Uh, so clearly we are going to see, uh, you know, a lot of collaborations in the future and uh, with these kind of events that Prime Minister Narendra Modi has highlighted and has called for it to be a cornerstone when it comes to India's uh, technological sector. Uh, there are going to be huge, uh, you know, uh, 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 boosts when it comes to uh, different areas of, of innovation, of research, of development uh, uh, that is going to benefit the entire country and, in fact, the entire world. All right, Akshay, we leave you there. Thank you so much.
Prime Minister Narendra Modi today inaugurated Emerging Science and Technology Innovation Conclave 2025 at Bharat Mandapam, as we told you, and launched the Rs. 1 lakh crore Research Development and Innovation Scheme Fund. Nobel laureate Andre Gaim also attended the event aimed at strengthening India's scientific and technological capabilities. Deed India spoke exclusively with Professor Gaim on the scientific progress in the last decade and Prime Minister Narendra Modi's role in pushing India's tech revolution. We are in New Delhi right now at uh, the Emerging Science and Technology and uh, Innovation Conclave where Prime Minister Narendra Modi uh, uh, not only uh, inaugurated uh, the conclave but also motivated the country uh, to take up more steps as far as India's science and technology sector is concerned. And with us we have a special guest, uh, Nobel Laureate uh, Professor Andrew Gaim with us. Sir, thank you so much for speaking with us. Uh, first of all, my question is uh, about uh, the progress that India has made in the recent years as far as uh, innovation is concerned, science and technology. How, what have you noticed? How would you rate India's uh, progress in science and technology so far, at least in the last one decade? I have been in India several times and probably the uh, first time it was uh, 15 years ago. Since then I have seen a dramatic progress. Uh, it's not only in medicine or in digital technology which uh, all the world knows about, but uh, I see how the roads have changed during the last decade, how cleaner and uh, more prosperous India has become. And, uh, of course, we know that without science and technology, there would be no progress. So today's conference shows the dedication of the Indian government to uh, support this progress, to invest at the very basic of the pyramid. All our prosperity is based on, and this is, of course, science and technology. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's role in pushing these reforms in a country like India. How do you see his uh, role uh, as the Prime Minister? So, and he's pushing, he has been pushing uh, uh, you know, the progress in science and technology and all the other areas of research and development, uh, uh, from digital technology to defense and all other sectors. So how do you view his role? It's the first time I, I met Prime Minister right. Modi. I don't know him personally. I was very impressed how personally he addresses the audience. He really a great speaker orator essentially, but uh, what uh, I also see uh, from uh, international newspapers, from uh, uh, his speeches which go into the West, that he is kind of a person who uh, seems to be defended not only India but the rest of the world against bullies and their sycophants. Thank you so much, Professor. Thank you. So that was a Nobel laureate Andrew, uh, Andrew Gaim uh, with us uh, talking about uh, the uh, progress that India has made uh, in the last one decade, especially when it comes to uh, research, when it comes to innovation, science and technology, and the role of Prime Minister Narendra Modi in pushing uh, these reforms uh, uh, in, in our country of 1.4 billion people. With camera person, you know, Doja Makshadungri, India.